Hello everyone, welcome back again with us on another episode at Military TV. In today's session, we will take a deep look on the process of how does a submarine fire a torpedo. I bet not many people know how it works, do you? So, if you are curious to the answer, stay tuned with us and watch the video till the end. Torpedo, a self-propelled underwater weapon designed to launch above or below the water's surface, is equipped with an explosive warhead. It can detonate or contact with or in proximity to the targets. This underwater projectile has been used strictly from the 19th century for the battleship and used to give a great effect during the World War I. Interestingly, it experiences some constant changes and refinement, allowing for modern ones with light weights, as well as straight running, automated homers or wire guided, and can be launched from a variety of platforms. Importantly, before the launching process, the torpedo is located at a torpedo tube. It's like a cylinder-shaped device and installed aboard surface vessels. Deck-mounted torpedo launchers are usually built for a specific type of torpedo, while submarine torpedo tubes are general-purpose launchers, and are often capable of discharging mines and cruise missiles too. In the following scene, we would like to precisely illustrate exactly how the torpedo launching system works. So, the first important thing is to assure that the locking lugs are in the right configuration to avoid the torpedo sliding forward and backward. The forward locking lug is in the load position, while the back one is in the up position. Then the breech door is open to slide the torpedo in. Additionally, this can also be done by using hydraulic system. When the torpedo is moved against the locking lug in the tube, the locking lug comes down and secures the torpedo, and the breech door is closed and locked. The torpedo is now stably located in the tube and ready to fire. Unfortunately, it is not the time yet. There are actually some sequences that need to take place. First, the tube has to be flooded started by opening a valve to allow water to flood the container called Water Round Torpedo WRT, tank. Then the valve up top needs to be opened too, in order to release the air as it is filled up with water. As the torpedo tube is being filled with water from the WRT tank, it definitely goes up to the vent line. At the top, there is electrode that senses the seawater. At this phase, the valve on top and on bottom close and the torpedo as the tube is filled with water. However, the problem is that there is a lower pressure inside the boat compared to the outside. As generally known that the deeper a submarine goes, the higher pressure it has. Therefore, the most crucial thing to do is to equalize the system. This function is performed by equalizing valve. When this thing is turned, the pressure inside the tube will now be equal to that outside the ocean. At the same time, it is important to relocate the slide valve. At this time, the slide valve also needs to be moved. Slide valve refers to a movable section of the tube about halfway down the torpedo that circularly covers all of the several rectangular pores through which water can enter. Then, the water can be dumped into torpedo tube. At this point, the torpedo is completely ready to fire. When the fire instruction comes from the control room, both the locking lugs retract, allowing the torpedo to move longitudinally and pressurize water from an impulse tank to provide a massive amount of pressure through which will then be introduced into the torpedo tube through all the rectangular holes covered by the slide valve. This extra water forces the torpedo out of the front of the submarine. To conclude, a torpedo launch of the naval warfare seems to be the least visible aspect to show, since the nature of submarine warfare means that none ever witnessed the torpedo tube mechanism and how the torpedo is pushed from its tube. This is because the submarine's crew is on the other side of a pressurized hull and unable to follow the chain of events after loading the torpedo and ordering the launch. It's lucky that we watch this video today and know exactly how it works now. That's all for today. See you next time.